continue with part C, the volume of revolution in terms of pi. When the region bounded by the curve, the y-axis and the straight line revolve through 360 degree about the y-axis. The most important keyword is about the y-axis. And also, we have to take note in terms of a pi, is instruction, region bounded. Bounded means is actually the boundary. So you have to highlight the boundary first. We have one boundary, the curve, y-axis, number two, and also the straight line y equal to negative two, meaning that we have three boundaries. Okay, it's going to revolve about the y-axis. Let's go to the curve. Let's go to the curve. And then we highlight the region, the area. We, before we find the volume, we must have the region or the area. Okay, so we are given three boundary. One of the boundary is the curve. Right? So let's highlight like this. This is a curve. And also is saying that this, this region is bounded by y equal to y equal to the negative 2. So we underline y equal to negative 2 here. This is a y equal to negative 2. This is negative 12.5. So this is negative 12.5. So negative 2 will be somewhere here. Right? So let's erase. So y equal to negative 2 is here. And okay, we have the boundary already, right? We have the boundary already. And don't forget it's going to revolution about the y-axis. So this is the region. Why we need the region? Because if we have the region, we can read the boundary. We have to find these two points. Right? Okay, so we have to find the point. Just now this equation was negative. Uh, negative 12. Uh, negative, what is our curve? Our P is negative. 0 0.5 right and then our q is our q is let's write down negative 0 0.5 minus minus 3x square right minus here this is 0 0.5 that means the y intercept for the curve when i substitute x 0 x0 i will get y is negative 0 0.5 so this is negative 0 0.5 right all right so we have found the we have found the boundary which is from negative 0 0.5 to negative uh, from negative 2 to negative 0 0.5 because negative 2 is lower Okay, we are going to highlight this region and we are going to, based on this region, we will find the volume generated. So the volume generated will be, because it's bounded by y-axis, will be something like this. This is the shape if you want to, if you want to sketch out the shape of the volume, will be something like this, right? Okay. So we are going to find this volume, the shape like this. Okay, now, how to find the volume is, we have to use a formula. Right, let me show you. I'm going to show here, volume is pi. If bounded by y axis, here will be y, dy, and here will be x squared, right? Now, our uh, curve is y equal to negative half minus 3x squared so we will have to make the x squared as a subject so i will shift the 3x squared here minus half minus y 
Hence, my x square is negative 1 over 2 minus y over 3. So, I'm going to leave it like that because I'm going to substitute into here. Let me simplify. Negative 1 over 2 over 3 minus y over 3. So, this is negative 1 over 6 minus 1 over 3y. We have to write like this for x squared. And then, we will substitute into here, here, so that we can uh, integrate. So, I'm going to show you uh, volume is pi integrate negative 1 over 6 minus 1 over 3y dy. Alright, so... If we integrate the limit is from, let me show you the limit just now is from where? The limit is from negative 2 to negative 0 0.5. So let's do it here. Negative 2, lower limit to upper limit. Right, let's, let's integrate pi in terms of pi, right? Negative 1 over 6y minus 1 over 3, y squared over 2, and then we have to substitute negative 2, and then negative 0 0.5 later. So volume is equal to pi, negative 1 over 6 times negative 0 0.5 minus, this is 1 over 6, right? 1 over 6 negative 0 0.5 squared, and don't forget we have to we have to minus this whole thing make sure we put a bracket like that negative 1 over 6 negative 2 minus 1 over 6 negative 2 square be very careful because we have value which is uh, negative this is uh, negative and negative so become 1 over 12 right this one will be minus because this is positive 1 over 6 times 0 0.5 square okay let's press the calculator negative 0 0.5 square okay so we will get 0 0.25 0 0.5 square is 0 0.25 times with the 1 over 6 right so we get uh, negative 1 over 24 for this one minus be very careful here we have to use many type of bracket okay so this is 1 over 3 this is minus 4 over 4 over 6 2 over 3 right this is 4 over 6 is still minus so finally volume is this one times 2, this one times 2, uh, 2 over 24 minus 1 over 24, we get 1 over 24, 1 over 3 minus, okay, uh, minus, we get negative 1 over 3, then we are expecting the answer will be always, always positive for the volume, if impossible, we will get the answer for the volume which is negative, impossible. For area, yes, but for volume, no. So the answer is 3 over 8 pi for the volume of the shaded region that I just highlighted just now. Right? So that's all my sharing about the volume. Okay? So I really hope that you follow the way I do. Highlight the boundary. From the boundary, identify the, uh, the lower limit and upper limit. Then we integrate if dy, make sure you integrate x squared dy. And don't forget the pi. That's all. Bye-bye and have a nice day.